How amazing would it be to say that I lived in the first carbon neutral city ever? More than that, how amazing would it be to say I helped make it the first carbon neutral city ever? There's so much potential. It's such a magical, incredible place. The world needs to be carbon neutral one day, and that day isn't coming soon enough. The solutions to climate change haven't been coming from the top, so we believe it's time to try to get it done a different way. We believe Isla Vista can be the first ever carbon neutral city, but it will take a community-based approach that unites all the individuals in Isla Vista to make it happen. And we believe we can get this done by 2025, faster than anyone else in the world thinks possible. This is Carbon Neutral Isla Vista 2025. And that's why we're coming to you to ask for your participation and help to make carbon neutrality our reality. We all live in paradise right now, and we all know the challenges we face, especially our planet. And the fact that we live in such a beautiful place means we have all the more reason to protect it. And these are issues that we shouldn't ignore anymore, and that we're at a time in our lives when we have the power to stand up and change it, not only for our future, but as we know, for the future of our children as well. So it starts right here in Isla Vista. We're not just your average neighborhood. There's already alternative housing programs, community gardens, and this really intense, magical spirit. And so when I walked around and realized this is a community of engaged people who really want to contribute to being sustainable and changing the earth, I realized, wait, this is possible. We can actually do this. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is carbon neutrality and why do we need it? Carbon neutrality is what is required to halt climate change. Because climate change is caused by the release of greenhouse gases, carbon neutrality is the solution because it means reaching a net zero in our greenhouse gas emissions. To do this, we'd reduce them all the way to zero and replace them with green energy like solar and wind. The crazy part about all of this is we could do that right now. We have the technology already. Climate change is no longer a technological issue. It's a social issue that we have to fix ourselves. The reason climate change hasn't had a solution for all this time is because it requires unity and for everyone to be on the same page. There's been no guide or plan that brings all parts of the system together. That's what makes this movement different. It brings about coordinated action from all parts of the system. For that reason, we need the help of everyone here to get this done. So far, we've partnered with the local Isla Vista and Santa Barbara County governments, UCSB, and several local organizations, such as EcoVista, the Environmental Affairs Board, and Greeks Go Green. We're trying to create a united front against climate change that has never been achieved before. And it's only possible with you. We don't want everyone just to, to think about climate, but to act in their lives about climate. And that's where participation matters. We have a set of tools that any individual can access and use to make their lifestyle more carbon neutral, as well as prescriptions for the government to use in policy, in climate initiatives, to open opportunities for their citizens to further expand carbon neutrality into their community beyond their own homes. Now, this may all sound great, but I bet you're wondering the specifics, the actual nitty gritty how to all of this. How is this even possible when every single piece of news you hear about climate change is negative? Every year it seems we pass a new point of no return helpless to do anything about it, and every day running out of time we don't have. It all seems so impossible. Despite all of this, there is hope. You just haven't heard it yet. So, how do we actually speed up time, and how do we get the most carbon reduction in the shortest period of time are the two biggest questions we have to address. So the starting point is that 70% of the carbon emitted on the planet comes from cities, and 70% of those emissions come from our lifestyle choices, how we drive our cars or don't drive our cars, how we use energy in our homes or the type of energy we use in our homes. So that's where the action is. And that's what the carbon neutral city strategy we're doing in Isla Vista is aimed at getting people to reduce their carbon footprint, scaling that up household by household, block by block, citywide, and getting carbon neutrality. House by house, block by block. A true ground up approach to get as many people as possible deeply and intimately involved with reaching carbon neutrality. 
It's called the Cool Block Program. In short, it's a program designed to bring about two things, community enrichment and carbon neutrality. The Cool Block process breaks down your lifestyle into distinct elements. Every aspect of it has a carbon number associated with it that represents the footprint of that action. And when you get people to actually understand how their behavior is influencing their carbon footprint and then give them the recipes and a peer support group of like-minded people on a cool block team, you get good results. On average, 25 to 32 percent carbon footprint reduction per household, which is quite remarkable. And that's just the beginning. The bigger idea, of course, is we're creating a carbon neutral city. I've been talking about the cool block part, which builds the foundation of the process. But the next stage is once you've got cool blocks at scale, then you need to start working on building the carbon neutral city infrastructure, the transportation infrastructure, the energy infrastructure. But now you have advocates in the system, you have demand in the system, you've got political will, you've got a lot of creativity and passion, and so you can tackle the bigger, the bigger lifts of changing out an energy infrastructure and changing out a transportation infrastructure to a carbon neutral version of the two. And what's so exciting is that we're already on our way. We've already had 50 cool block teams participate, which translates to over 400 people. And even with the participation of just 400, in late 2020, we secured a grant for $170,000 from the state to revamp Isla Vista's transportation system. So with over 20,000 people living in Isla Vista, imagine the kind of change we could make if we had everyone on board. So I would say to the community of Isla Vista, not just students, but everyone there, because it's not just students in IUV. There's all kinds of people from everywhere living in that area. We all feel a lot of stress from climate change. We all know it's real. We've all seen it through the fires, the mudslides everything that's going on and we just see it getting worse and you know you feel a lot of pressure for what your future is going to look like and you feel really helpless about what you can do about it so the beautiful thing about this initiative is that it's here it's now it's in your community and all you have to do is show up what's so exciting about all of this is that if Isla Vista can prove on a smaller scale that carbon neutrality is possible, the state, the country, and the world will notice. The world needs proof it's possible. So let's give them it.